doesn't matter if you drive a tractor trailer, a cargo van, or one of these half-ton trucks. Everybody wants to save money. That's why so many businesses are checking out vehicles that run on compressed natural gas. I pushed a lot of the numbers, and a lot of the numbers made sense. The challenge was to convince my brother Matt. I said, I don't want to do that. Just like a lot of companies, the brothers who own Remy Battery were trying to answer the big question. Is CNG worth the investment? I'm an old-fashioned, you know, just eight cylinders, gasoline, and that's it. There was some arm twisting that I, I had to do. It made so much sense to me on paper. With our fleet, we primarily use light-duty vehicles, vans and pickup trucks. My fuel savings between the gasoline and the natural gas truck is almost exactly 50%. CNG is about half the price of diesel. Diesel is averaging about $4 per gasoline gallon equivalent. CNG is averaging about $2 per gasoline gallon equivalent. Sure, the fuel is cheaper, but the vehicles cost more. The cost would be anywhere from 30 to 50 percent more. You see a price tag of this much on a brand new natural gas vehicle and you don't think of the long term. With the number of miles that we put on, anywhere from 30 to 40,000 miles a year on one of these vehicles, the payback was within a year to a year and a half. The other factor in cost is gonna be maintenance. If your facility repairs a natural gas vehicle, what we're trying to do is encourage safe and code compliant shops. It's really a wide range of costs and scope of work that you run into when you look into upgrading a shop. It doesn't have to be expensive. And we consider minimal to be around that $25,000 range. And if you're taking your vehicles to a dealership or a garage, you won't need to worry about the cost to upgrade your shop. The bottom line is, more money for vehicles, less for fuel. Will it pay off soon enough? Gotta do the math. There's a lot of calculators out there. It'll show you all the factors to consider. You know, what are your cost of fuel? What are your cost of maintenance? How many miles do you drive a year? And you can run that calculation actually pretty easily. The rule, I guess, that we use is the 2020 rule. If you get less than 20 miles per gallon or greater than 20,000 miles per year, that vehicle makes a good candidate. The fewer miles that you're traveling, the longer the payback period is going to be. For us, I think two and a half years is when we'll start to profit, which is pretty quick majority of these vehicles are going to be in their fleets for you know, 10 years. So if your payback is two years, you've got a good eight years of savings, anywhere from like fifteen dollars to $20,000 a year. So then I started thinking, well, this might be the route to go. We had done fueling and I think it was 65 70 bucks to fill up. In my diesel truck, that pump right now would read about $250. So, wow, that is, that's a big difference. Oh, I feel great. I feel great. I don't mind going to the gas station. It's a pretty big, <laughs> pretty big savings. And we expect that to continue for the foreseeable future. We've developed a new way of producing natural gas, and it's coming from shale formations. So the, the supply has essentially doubled in the last five years. Now we think we have more than 100 years of natural gas supply in the U.S. that is causing natural gas pricing to remain relatively low and relatively stable. And you won't see as much price fluctuation as with gasoline and diesel. 80% of the cost of those fuels is tied to a barrel of oil. So when you see a barrel of oil go up, you're gonna see that cost go up at the pump. The cost of the natural gas itself is a small percentage of the overall price at the pump. Only 20% of the cost of natural gas is associated with pulling it out of the ground. That means even if the cost of natural gas goes up, there's a smaller price increase at the pump. And it's a domestic fuel that provides jobs right here in the USA. Everyone is really excited about it because we have a domestic product that we can use and it's lower cost. We like the fact that this is American fuel that we're buying. For many companies, it's a pretty straightforward win-win. Cheaper fuel, quick payback if you drive a lot of miles, and a stable supply of domestic fuel. The final decision was a no-brainer for the fighting Miller brothers. If I would have done something differently, it, it probably would have been to push Matt a little bit harder and get into it a little bit quicker. It's always frustrating dealing with the younger brother. <laughs> I finally said, all right, you talked me into it. What took you so long? 
For more straight talk on CNG, go to MGE.com slash CNG. 